Continuing with our saga, the great wandering story of the vagus nerve, I'd like to do an origin story and talk about the friends of the vagus and the vagus itself. So here we have the base of the skull, right here. Here we have the spinal cord, and here we have the medulla oblongata. In other videos, I've discussed the vagal nuclei, the locus on the medulla oblongata of the nerve bodies of the vagus nerve group, let's say. And so here I show the several nuclei, one, two, three, four on each side, contributing branches so that when you look at the vagus nerve, as it, as it emerges from the medulla oblongata, we see several strands that then converge into a bundle. So this brown ink here is cranial nerve 10, the vagus nerve. Now, where is it going? Where does it wander to first? Well, it just kind of meanders its way out of a foramen. What's a foramen? It's, a, it's an opening. So here's a huge foramen. We call it the foramen magnum, the great opening of the skull, at the base of the skull. In the occiput here, there's a great opening through which the spinal cord passes in communication with the brain. So here we have the spinal cord passing through the foramen magnum. And then we see this little kidney bean shape here. What's that? It's another foramen. It's called the jugular foramen. Now it takes its name from the internal jugular vein, which is draining uh, right through here, kind of draining uh, your head. So it's not alone, though. The jugular uh, foramen also is the pass-through point for two other cranial nerves. One, cranial nerve nine, cranial nerve nine here, this red one, I just did it red for fun, Cranial nerve nine is the glossopharyngeal nerve going to gloss tongue and pharyngeal pharynx or pharyngeal constrictors. So glossopharyngeal is going in here, passing also through the jugular foramen. And who else? Who's this orange nerve creeping on through? Cranial nerve 11, spinal accessory. Why is it called spinal accessory? Well, it's an interesting nerve because the spinal accessory nerve actually starts outside the foramen magnum on the spinal cord and then goes up and passes through the foramen magnum and then passes out, a little loop-de-loop, -loop, passes out of the jugular foramen. So the friends of the vagus nerve are the glossopharyngeal nerve, cranial 9, and the spinal accessory nerve, cranial 11, because the whole group of them pass through the jugular foramen, which is proximate to or next to the great foramen of the skull, the foramen magnum. So I think that's kind of uh, cool, right? That the vagus nerve is, is accu an accumulation of nerve fibers from several different vagal nuclei in the medulla oblongata and then grouping together to form the vagus nerve along with the glossopharyngeal and the accessory. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.